investor has a really wonderful friend she buys furniture things from him he has a lovely store in San Antonio so over time she's bought quite a bit of things for herself and everybody else she knows in that store in other words it's it's one of the things she likes most about being alive is furniture <laughs> so he sent a lovely happy day text to her and it was about God watching over and Esther thought I agree with that and about deservability and Esther thought nice messages I agree with that and then about the third paragraph it was long about the third paragraph it said but you must struggle without struggle and hardship there can be no and Esther went <laughs> and then she thought if I worked hard I could twist that into what I understand in other words I do understand that in knowing what I don't want I know what I do want but that was not the message here this message was hardship is a good thing and go seek it because it will get you the things that you want and it will get you to the kingdom of heaven and it will get you and Esther thought I know he means well I know he adores me I don't think he has any idea what I do for a living he just knows I <laughs> like furniture we are a vibrational match in so many ways but I refuse to struggle because my inner being is not struggling on my behalf and when I choose to see myself as a victim or a needing to earn my place in the Sun that's where it goes south and almost everybody believes some version of that incredible flawed premise do you think you've got any of that going on possibly <laughs> hmm. yeah so we talked to you about your inner being and what resonance feels like have you talked with God in other words we've never met anybody who actually talked with God and actually heard go have a hard life <laughs> that's not the message so where are you getting that stuff you know where you're getting it you're getting it from life experience because when things aren't going well for you at these very deep core levels of your being you know something's off about that when you don't feel good you know something's off about that and so you're standing in this place of really understanding that you shouldn't be living this deprivation and then you try to figure out well I'm living the deprivation why is that oh you're so clever humans we love you so much all the excuses you come up with to explain why you don't feel good right now as you try to justify because where you're standing is where you're standing and it feels like you need to explain it to somebody that's sort of what you're doing you kind of need to explain why I'm not doing better it's a range of things you come up with I must have been bad in a past life or somehow non-physical source energy has forgotten about me ah, no it isn't any of that stuff that you feel like must be true because here I am standing as evidence of it so are you getting what we're getting at here it's time for you to create some different evidence it's time for you to line up with source and find out what's in your vortex find out what's lined up with you find out what the power of the universe is utilize the energy that creates worlds flow it through your perspective toward what you desire and watch it yield to you and as others stand in their feeling of deprivation and they feel envious or jealous or not even understanding how you got what you got and so they begin to explain to you that you must be doing something wrong because it's not spiritual to receive are you kidding you came into physicality to manifest your desires that's why you're here that's what the continuation of creation is you didn't come just to regurgitate or to just look around at what others have created you came to create and satisfaction is only felt by you when you do so when you calibrate to love not meanness when you calibrate to clarity not confusion when you calibrate to who you really are you'll just get more and more and more and more and more and more and more sure and when Esther sees her friend in the store she's gonna say to him thank you for your lovely message 
you know why because she knows with all of his heart he loves her he's not trying to give her a message that's gonna ruin her life he did but <laughs> He's not trying to give her a message that's going to ruin her life. He gave that to her out of love. And so that's the message that she received. This guy cares about me. He cares about me and I care about him too. So then she says, your store is the best one I've ever seen. I love being here. Being here is so uplifting to me. Thank you for gathering these beautiful things from all around the world and putting them in a place where I can see them. Thank you for your decorating skills, putting things together so that I can see how pretty that looks with that and that looks with that and that looks with that. And I know for sure if I buy it and put it in my house, it's going to look pretty like it looks here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He doesn't have to believe what she believes for her to love him. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.